Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Now when it comes down to my face, I personally like when my face is looking all firm and tight and fully lifted, free from wrinkles and fine lines. Now when it comes on to getting a surgery done or when it comes on to using fillers or Botox guys, I am a no, 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 no. I like to use natural stuff on my skin and I like to use the natural stuff that is gonna help my skin to be tight and firm. Almost like giving myself a homemade a facelift. Now I came up with this amazing recipe guys that I use on my face to have my face looking tight and firm, free from wrinkles and fine lines. At my age guys, I think my face is looking amazing. So I'm gonna share this little secret with you this is gonna tighten the skin however guys the remedy also contain ingredients that will help to clear the skin of hyperpigmentation and have your skin looking younger and fresher and also just lifted with a natural glow so if you're interested in this video follow me to the kitchen I'll share the recipe with you and I will also show you how to use it on your skin to see if it will work as good as it works on my skin let's get in the kitchen so the first ingredient I'm gonna use is one that I like to use on my skin, especially when I'm trying to tighten my skin. Now this is Irish potato, also known as a white potato. Now you can choose to use a potato starch or you can choose to use a potato juice that contain the potato starch. Now if you use the starch, you're gonna get a tightening effect, but if you use the potato juice along with the starch, then you're also gonna get it to remove the spots and blemishes on your skin. So what I'm going to do to extract the potato juice and starch, I'm going to peel my potato and then after peeling, I'm going to grate the potato. Now once the potato is grated, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a strainer and I'm going to extract the potato juice. Now guys, when you extract the potato juice, if you put it aside for a little while, it's gonna get dark. Not to worry guys, it is still good to go. So next I'm gonna pour about two tablespoons of the potato juice in a bowl, and then I'm gonna reach for some milk. Today, I am gonna be using some 1% milk. However guys, if you are vegan, use some soy milk in this, which is rich in vitamin A. Now the milk contain lactic acid, that will have the clean those pores out it will also help to get rid of dark spots and blemishes on the skin and when mixed with the potato juice and starch it's going to help to tighten and firm the skin and give your skin a natural glow so i'm blending the two together i'm just I'm mixing them well and then guys what i'm going to do i'm going to reach for another tightening ingredient and this is cornstarch now what i like about the cornstarch is that it not only tightens and firm the skin but it also leave your skin with a silky feel and if you don't know anything about cornstarch this is an ingredient that is in most of your beauty products your beauty facial powder and it is also good for your powder powder that you use on your skin it also contain drying effect that is good for oily skin so what I like to do I like to just fluff up the cornstarch a little just make sure to get rid of any lumps by mixing it well like I'm showing here and then I'm gonna reach for my liquid which is my milk and potato juice make sure to give it a stir guys you don't want to leave the starch at the bottom so make sure to stir it up and then you just pour it in your cornstarch mixture now guys this is some really good ingredients tightening ingredient that we are mixing here now we're gonna blend it out make sure the cornstarch is totally blended in the potato on the milk and what I'm gonna do next guys I will have to thicken this up since we're looking for something that is gonna hold on to the skin to tighten the skin so I am gonna reach for some hot water guys so take a container pour hot boiling water in the container And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna reach for your cornstarch potato mixture, put it right on top of that hot water, guys. 
and then you're gonna take a star and you're gonna start this so you're gonna keep starting keep starting keep starting and what is gonna happen guys the hotter it's get is the thicker it's gonna get because the cornstarch contain that glue and the starch from the potato and all of that is just gonna keep getting thicker and thicker and thicker almost like you're making gravy guys so just keep starting and this is gonna take a little while three to four minutes or so don't give up it's gonna get really really thick you can also put it on the stove top but I prefer to do it this way and take a look you can see how thick it's getting and that exactly how you want it to be so just keep stirring guys keep stirring now once this is done guys you're gonna remove it from the hot water now at this stage guys it is gonna be warm so what you're gonna do you're gonna set this aside for a couple of minutes to cool down do not apply it on your face directly do not put it in the refrigerator if you put it in the refrigerator it's gonna be way too thick and it's not gonna be able to spread on on your face so just let it cool a bit therefore you're gonna apply it on your skin basically warm anyway let me get on the other side and show you how to use this on your skin for best result now to use the facial mask cream I suggest that you start with clean skin so if you wear makeup you're just gonna wash your face get rid of all the grease and dirt from your face before you apply the mask on your skin you're just gonna pour a little of the mask in your hands like I'm showing here and what I like to do I like to just rub this mask in my hand just as if I'm using a facial cream and then I apply it on my skin so I just rub the mask all over my face and a little of this mask goes a long way you really do not need a thick layer Rub it on your skin in circular motion for about two to three minutes. The fact that this is a drying mask, you gotta work very, very fast with it. And after about three minutes, what I do, I just leave it on the skin for about 30 minutes. So this is good to use every day if you so choose, or two to three times per week for best results. So give it a go, use it up, and then come back and leave a comment. Store the leftover in your refrigerator for up to about seven days or so. So there you have it, such an amazing, guys, you definitely have to try this. This actually tightened the skin almost immediately after rinsing, and please rinse with cold water, you will notice a difference on the skin. Your skin will just be glowing, and with continuous use, guys, you will notice that the wrinkles and fine lines are totally disappearing, guys. Give it a go, use it for a couple of weeks or so, and I'm waiting for you to come back and comment. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.